Welcome to the Shred Zone. I'm Shredmaster Scott. This video is about unlocking the secret and elusive power of modes. Very few musicians gain a command of the immense musicality available in modes. In this lesson, I'll use the AHA classic Take On Me to demonstrate how you can wield ultimate modal firepower. Nearly all modal lessons on the internet are worthless. The reason for this is because they don't actually demonstrate the sound of the mode. Just playing the scale up and down is horse <laughs> Did you feel anything? Why, it brings a tear to my eye. The real way to understand modes is to absorb their specific emotional character. That character is unveiled in the chords. Here's an example. Take on me reharmonized in the Lydian mode. Listen for the mood, vibe, and emotional energy. Why you've made it quite metal, Shred? Lydian has a very heavy, grand, sometimes tear-jerking quality. Let's unpack how I achieve such a vastly different effect. Also, if you have questions, feel free to DM me on Instagram or comment below. All right, first, I reharmonize the music using the primary chords of the Lydian mode. In the key of B Lydian, the primary chord formula is major one to major two, or the chords B to C sharp. In other words, if you want to sound Lydian, just play two major chords a whole step apart. Love you, music theory. Both chords are reinforced over a B pedal tone. This is absolutely mother crucial to really internalizing and understanding the sound. But why, Shred? Well, that's a question for the good Lord himself. The sensitive tendency tone in the Lydian scale is the sharp fourth degree, or F note. I targeted this note in the rhythm guitars. Then, I changed the notes of the original melody to conform to the B Lydian mode. This gets a little complicated, but here's the idea. Play the same shape of the original melody, just adjust the notes to fit the new key. Let's check out the scale I use to find the right notes. I'm using the three note per string scale system here. It's the best. As I said before, the sharp fourth degree is the defining characteristic of the Lydian mode. It's what separates it from regular major or Ionian. Target that note to really flesh out the Lydian character. So much information, I'm losing it. Let's move on to our next modal target, Mixolydian. Mixolydian is the fifth mode of the major scale. It's characterized by an optimistic, whimsical tonality. It's like there's a party going on. Let's hear Take On Me reharmonized with the Mixolydian mode. Drugs for everyone! <laughs> to achieve the Mixolydian sound, you'll need to apply the formula major 1 to major flat 7, or in this key, the chords B to A. Let's have a closer look. As before, both chords are reinforced over a pedal tone root. 
The sensitive tendency tone in Mixolydian is the flat seventh degree. This really adds an epic gravity to the mood. Let's have a look at the Mixolydian scale I use to adjust the melody. My head hurts, Shred. Again, the scale itself doesn't really mean <laughs> You really need a harmonic backdrop to generate emotional quality. Last up for examination is the Dorian mode. The Dorian mode is the second mode of the major scale. It's a minor scale characterized by the raised sixth degree. Think Shine On You Crazy Diamond by Pink Floyd or Johnny Cash's version of Hurt. It can even be heavy. I think I just had an aha moment. To achieve the Dorian sound, you'll need to use the chord formula minor one to major four, or B minor to E. Give me those chords, I wanna rock. Finally, you'll need the scale shape to complete your knowledge. Let's have a peep at the Dorian mode scale. Try applying these chords and scales in your own playing to achieve ultimate metal power. Why yes, I'd like that very much. As a bonus for making it through all this head-splitting modal theory, enjoy a little modal shred. Until next time, shred till you're dead. <laughs>